John. Good morning. Uh, it is always a joy to be able to stand together with the governor and the Senate president uh, on, on uh, issues of mutual concern. And, and I appreciate the, the leadership that they, sh they have shown. I also want to acknowledge Chris Widener, who is a great uh, partner in the House uh, in trying to help reform our lending laws in the state. For those of you who have listened to me uh, over the years, you know the concern that I have about debt and borrowing and lending and making sure that it's done responsibly. That we as a nation now have $9.5 trillion in debt. That's $31,500 per consumer. We have consumer per person. We have consumer debt that's $8,300 per capita in this nation. Uh, and we are crippling our economy as a result of uh, it. Bill Faith mentioned uh, what's gone in the mortgage industry, and we've witnessed irresponsible lending uh, as a major factor in, in slowing our economy. And it's not just consumers. It's very large banks and firms on Wall Street that don't do this responsibly either. Uh, and when we saw an example of this right here in Ohio with the payday lending industry, it became clear to us that we had a product in the marketplace that was harming consumers because it was designed by its very nature to trap people in a cycle of debt. That was the business model that it was based on, is return customers that couldn't pay off their loans. That's a bad business model that was harming consumers. And because the product was initially created by an exemption in law, we had a responsibility to look at that very exemption and determine how we could find a compromise, hopefully, uh, with the industry that uh, could bring more responsible law in the state of Ohio. The industry did not want to compromise with us. Uh, they did not want to work with us on this, and so we were left no choice but to proceed with House Bill 545. And what we did is that we did not ban small consumer loans. Rather, we capped the interest rate at a level that created a reasonable expectation that the borrow could, borrower could pay it back, that they wouldn't be trapped in a cycle of debt. We didn't ban small loans. We banned an effective product. That's what we did. That's what we have to do when we do find that there are products in the marketplace that are harming consumers and undermining the free market. And I want to speak a little bit to the, the issue because uh, as, uh, as an elected leader, I have always tried to promote the free market. I believe in the free market. Uh, that free exchange between consumers and businesses with limited government and intervention is important to our freedom and prosperity. I understand what they're saying because it's what I believe and what I want to do in life. Uh, in terms of the criticisms that we're facing from the lending industry. But products in the marketplace that are defective by their very nature undermine the free market. They harm consumers and invite government intervention. And for those who believe in freedom and free markets, they should understand that by our actions we are preserving, not harming those principles. And I think that's important to understand. Because as critics are saying that we're intervening in the free market, no, we're preserving the free market because we're helping to ban a product that's undermining the very nature of what freedom, uh, uh, what the foundations of the free market are based upon. And I wanted to add that to this conversation because the governor did a very fine job of identifying the specifics um, and, and as to what harm is done. He talked about. 6,000 jobs lost, we don't believe that. But I know that there are more than 6,000 families who have been crippled and trapped in a cycle of debt as a result of this. And, and that is what we focus on. Uh, you know, we stood together many times trying, trying to talk about issues that we think will create jobs. And, and, there are, uh, and there's nobody, I, don't, I think, in public office more time than I do and respond to business practices. And that is why we need to preserve the law that we passed. It's why we're better off today uh, than uh, we were before the law was passed. Thank you.